Good morning, students. How are you all? Today, in this class, we are going to study poem. Okay, the topic of the poem is I found a tiny starfish. Repeat after me. I found a tiny starfish. Uh, so, this poem is going to be very interesting. Okay, this poem was written by Dave and Dodge. Okay, so it is the poem. Dave and Dodge. So, before going into the poem, I am going to uh, show you something, an interesting one. Are you ready to see that? Students, what do you see in this video? This is known as aquarium. What is meant by aquarium? Aquarium means a glass container filled with water in which fish and water animals can be kept. What do you observe in this aquarium? There are fish. How many fish are there? There are many fish living in the aquarium. Do the fish like to live in the aquarium or in a large pond or sea or the river? Yes, definitely the fish would like to live in the large pond or sea or the river. Okay students, so before studying the poem, first we are going to read the hard words. So it will be very easy for you to understand the meaning. Are you ready? Yes. Tiny, very small. Tiny, very small. Tide pool, pool areas on rocks by the ocean that are filled with Sea water. So the meaning of typhoon is pool areas on rocks by the ocean that are filled with sea water. So it is nothing but it is an area. Okay? It is an area that is filled by the sea water in the ocean. Dry, not wet. Dry, not wet. Itty bitty. So the meaning of itty bitty is Tiny. So you have already know what is meant by tiny. So tiny means very small. Okay, so it really means small one. Wet. Covered in liquid, especially in water. Wet. Covered in liquid, especially in water. The last one. Health. Pastures of cold. Health. Pastures of cold. So what is meant by cold? Cold means it is of a uh, Having uh, something in a hand. Okay, so that is the by coal. So uh, L means it's nothing but it is the process of coal. Have you understood? Shall we read once again? Tiny, very small. Repeat after me. Tiny, very small. Tide pool. Pool areas on rocks by the ocean that are filled with sea water. Okay, that is uh, that means an area that is filled with sea water on the rocks. Tide pool, pool areas on rocks by the ocean that are filled with sea water. Dry, not wet. Dry, not wet. Itty bitty, tiny. Itty bitty, tiny. Wet, covered in liquid, especially in water. Wet, covered in liquid, especially in water. Water. Help. Past tense of coal. Help. Past tense of coal. Okay. Have you understood the meaning of these words? Shall we read the poem? Students, are you ready to read the poem? Shall we read? I found a tiny starfish in a tide pool by the sand. I found a tiny starfish. And I put him in my hand. An itty bitty starfish, no bigger than my thumb. A wet and golden starfish belonging to no one. I thought that I would take him from the tide pool by the sea. 
and bring him home to give you a loving gift from me. But as I held my starfish, his skin began to dry without his special seaside home. My gift for you would die. I found a tiny starfish in a tide pool by the sea. I hope whoever finds him next will leave him there like me. And the gift I have saved for you, the best that I can give. I found a tiny starfish and for you I let him live. So the name of the poet is Dale, Dale and Dots. Okay students, shall we read the poem once again so that you can able to get an idea. Okay. I found a tiny starfish in a tide pool by the sand. I found a tiny starfish and I put him in my hand. An itty bitty starfish, no bigger than my thumb. A wet and golden starfish belonging to no one. I thought that I would take him from the tide pool by the sea and bring him home to give you a loving gift from me. But as I held my starfish, his skin began to dry. Without his special seaside home, my gift for you would die. I found a tiny starfish in a tide pool by the sea. I hope whoever finds him next will leave him there like me. And the gift I have saved for you, the best that I can give. I found a tiny starfish and for you I let him live. Okay students, so this poem is about a starfish. Okay, the starfish is very tiny and a boy notices the starfish in the pool and he wishes to take the starfish to the home. Okay, he loves to present the starfish to his lovable one but he didn't give the starfish as a present. He would like to leave the starfish in the same pool. Shall we uh, see the explanation of each stanza? The first stanza. I found a tiny starfish. So the speaker says that he finds that he notices a tiny starfish. So we have already seen the meaning of tiny is very small. Okay. So the uh, speaker says that he notices a tiny starfish in a tide pool by the sand. So where he is finding it? He is finding in a tide pool. So the meaning of tide pool is the area that is filled by water. Okay. The sea water on the rocks. Okay. So in that area the speaker is noticing the starfish. I found a tiny starfish. So he again says that he has been noticing a tiny starfish and I put him in my hand. So what he is doing? So on seeing the starfish, the speaker is taking the starfish and he is having in his hand. Okay. He loves the starfish very much. So he is taking it and he is keeping in his hand. Shall we read the stanza of it once again? I found a tiny starfish in a tide pool by the sand. I found a tiny starfish and I put him in my hand. So the speaker notices the starfish and he is keeping the starfish in his hand itself. Okay. Shall we see the second, uh, second stanza? An itty bitty starfish. An itty bitty starfish. So we have already seen the meaning of itty bitty is very small. Okay. Very small. So the starfish seems to be a small one. Okay. No bigger than my thumb. No bigger than my thumb. So what is meant by thumb? Thumb is the finger. Okay. Look at here. So this is the thumb finger. So 
uh, he is comparing the starfish to his thumb finger and he says that the starfish is too small. It is not bigger than his thumb finger. A wet and golden starfish. A wet and golden starfish. So, where do the starfish lives? Yes, the starfish lives in the water. So, on living in the water, it will always be wet. So, we have already seen the meaning of wet is covered in liquid, especially in water. Okay, the meaning of wet is covered in liquid, especially in water. So, because of living in water, the starfish is very wet and golden starfish. So, the speaker says the starfish is in golden color. He says the color of the starfish that it is in golden color. Belonging to no one. So, he also says that this starfish doesn't belong to anyone. It doesn't belong to anyone. So, an itty bitty starfish no bigger than my thumb. A wet and golden starfish belonging to no one. So, in the second stanza, the speaker says that the starfish is very small one and he is comparing the starfish to his thumb finger and he says that it is not bigger than my thumb. And because of living in this water, the starfish is in very wet and the color of the starfish is golden and it doesn't belong to anyone. Have you understood the first two stanza children? Okay. Shall we move on to the third one? I thought that I would take him from the tide pool by the sea and bring him home to give you a loving gift from me. So what does he say? I thought that I would take him. So the speaker says that I would like to take the starfish along with me because uh, he likes the starfish very much and he wishes to take the starfish along with him from the tide pool by the sea. So where it lives? It lives in the tide pool, tide pool by the sea. Okay, so he uh, it's living in the place, uh, the tide pool sea. So he is. Uh, he is wanting, uh, sorry, he is uh, wishing to take the starfish away from that place to his home and bring him home to give you a loving gift from me. So, where he is uh, liking to take, he is liking to take the starfish to his home, okay, to give you a loving gift from me. So, he wants to present the starfish as a gift to someone, okay. He wants to present the starfish as a gift to someone. So, uh, he wishes to uh, take the starfish away from that place, okay. So, where do the place uh, where the starfish lives? The starfish is living in the tide pool by the sea, okay. Shall we read it once again? I thought that I would take him from the tide pool by the sea and bring him home to give you a loving gift from me. But as I held my starfish, his skin began to dry without his special seaside home. My gift for you would die. So what does he say? But as I held my starfish, so the speaker is ready to take the starfish away from the pool and he is ready to go home. So that he is taking away the starfish from the pool. So we have already seen the meaning of held is the past tense of hold. Okay, so uh, he is holding the starfish away from the pool. So after taking the starfish from the pool, he is having in his hand. Okay, he is holding in his hand. His skin began to dry. So what happens after taking away from the water, the skin of the starfish began to dry. So we have seen the meaning of dry is not wet. Okay. So it seems to be very dry without his special seaside home. Why the starfish uh, becomes very dry? Because of taking away from the sea water. Okay. Because of taking away from sea water, it begins to get dry. My gift for you would die. So after uh, seeing that, 
uh, he is thinking that uh, the starfish will begin to die because I have taken away from the water. So it will definitely die. So my gift uh, will definitely die. So I can't able to present it. But as I held my starfish, his skin began to dry without the special seaside hope. My gift for you would die. Have you understood these two stanza? Shall we move on to the next one? I found a tiny starfish in a tide pool by the sea. I hope whoever finds him next will leave him there like me. So in this stanza the speaker again says that he is uh, finding a small starfish in the place tide pool by the sea. I hope whoever finds him next will leave him there like me. And he also says that if someone sees the starfish like me, they will definitely leave, uh, live it in the same place. They won't uh, take the starfish with them. So like me, they will also live in the pool itself. I found a tiny starfish in a tide pool by the sea. I hope whoever finds him next will leave him there like me. And the last stanza. And the gift I have said for you, the best I can give. I found a tiny starfish and for you I let him live. So what else he says in the last answer? And the gift I have said for you. So he is saying that I have a gift um, that, uh, to be present to, uh, that to be present for you, the best I can give. So he says that the thing I can give the best. So what is the thing? What he is going to do? I found a tiny starfish and he says that I found, I noticed a tiny starfish in the pool and for you I let him live. So at last he decided to live the starfish in the pool itself. So he says that this is the gift I am going to give for you. I am not going to take the starfish away from this pool. I am having in my hand. But what I am going to do? I am going to live this starfish in the same pool. So that is the gift I am going to give for you. And the gift I have saved for you, the best that I can give. I found a tiny starfish and for you I let him live. Okay students and this is the poem about I find a tiny starfish. Are you ready to read it once again? Yes. I found a tiny starfish in a tide pool by the sand. I found a tiny starfish and I put him in my hand. An itty bitty starfish no bigger than my thumb. A wet and golden starfish belonging to no one. I thought that I would take him from the tide pool by the sea and bring him home to give you a loving gift from me. But as I held my starfish, his skin began to dry. Without the special seaside hope, my gift for you would die. I found a tiny starfish in a tide pool by the sea. I hope whoever finds him next will leave him there like me. And the gift I have saved for you, the best that I can give. I found a tiny starfish and for you I let him live. So the name of the poet is Tail and Dots. Hope you all enjoy this poem. I would take him from 
from the typhoon by the sea and bring him home to give you a loving gift from me. But as I held my starfish, his skin began to dry. Without a special seaside home, my gift for you would die. I found a tiny starfish in a tide pool by the sea. I hope whoever finds him next will leave him there like me. And the gift I have saved for you, the best that I can give. I found a tiny starfish and for you I let him live. Okay students, now let us see the rhyming words. Sand, hand, sand, hand. So I'll repeat after you, okay? See, me, see, me. Dry, die, dry, die. Give, live, give, live. Shall we read once again? Sand, hand, sand, hand. See, me, see, me. Dry, Die, dry, die. Give, live, give, live. And uh, this is for your home assignment. Okay? Try these synonyms, antonyms, rhyming words in your class for no. Try the synonyms, antonyms, rhyming words in your class for no. Hope you all enjoyed.